The Tiger Tank, as one of the most ferocious armored weapons of World War II, is not only a hot topic among military enthusiasts today, but also a focus of fear for soldiers from various countries during the war. This is demonstrated in the classic TV series, Band of Brothers, where the well-trained and tank-supported Easy Company still struggled when encountering Tiger tanks. So, what tanks during World War II had the ability to confront the Tiger head-on? Let's take a brief look today. The Soviet Army made great achievements in the construction of armored forces, and in terms of both scale and tank technology during World War II, they were considered the top opponent of the German Army. T-34 series as one of the most numerous tanks during World War II, the Tiger tank certainly had encounters with them, but strictly speaking, the T-34 series cannot be considered a qualified opponent for the Tiger tank, at least not in terms of technical performance. The T-34-85 had to get within 500 meters to effectively penetrate the frontal armor of the Tiger tank, and the T-34-57 and Su-85 were also emergency solutions. Only the Su-100 tank destroyer could kill the Tiger tank at long distances. IS-2 heavy tank following the Soviet Union's philosophy of violence, the IS-2 heavy tank increased the caliber of its main gun to 122 mm, while the Tiger tank was still using an 88 mm gun. The IS-2 also had excellent protection, with armor thickness ranging from 90 to 120 mm on the front hull and 100 to 160 mm on the front turret, allowing it to effectively increase its survival rate in tank battles. However, the biggest problem with the IS-2 was its slow firing rate and poor accuracy due to the separate loading ammunition and limited internal space. SU-152 self-propelled gun since the 122mm gun could cause substantial damage to the Tiger tank, the 152mm gun was even more powerful. The SU-152, equipped with a 152mm howitzer, was also a Tiger killer. According to Soviet tests, even if the 152mm armor-piercing shell did not penetrate the frontal armor of the Tiger tank at long distances, it could still rely on its massive weight to crack the armor welds, rendering the tank unsuitable for further combat. However, the Su-152 also suffered from a slow firing rate and poor accuracy, but its quantity effectively made up for these shortcomings. After all, when an Su-152 appeared, it was likely followed by a swarm of T-34 tanks. The British tank family was quite special during World War II, as it was designed based on advanced industrial foundations. However, it was not until the later stages of the war that the British tanks found the right path. Sherman Firefly Tank Strictly speaking, the Sherman Firefly tank could only be considered a tank modified from the American M4 tank and was an emergency solution. However, its 17-pound gun was indeed powerful enough to effectively penetrate the frontal armor of the Tiger tank at normal combat distances. The Sherman Firefly, however, had insufficient protection and was a bit top-heavy, with production limited by the quantity of 17-pound guns. Cromwell Cruiser Tank As a cruiser tank equipped with a modified 17-pound gun, the Cromwell had already begun to deviate from the cruiser tank design and move towards the thinking of medium tanks at the time. However, it still had shortcomings in its chassis design, which prevented it from installing the full 17-pound gun, reducing its firepower and making it unable to threaten the Tiger tank at long distances. Centurion tank as the culmination of the British tank family during World War II, the Centurion had excellent overall performance and resembled a main battle tank. Its 17-pound gun naturally had the capability to effectively deal with the Tiger tank, and its maneuverability was also not bad. However, its early protection was a bit weak, and it only made a brief appearance on the battlefield in the later stages of the war without participating in any major battles. The American tank series was a late bloomer, as it did not have a decent tank design concept before World War II and gradually developed one during the war. M4 series overall, most models of the M4 series could not single-handedly confront the Tiger tank head-on. 
It was not initially designed to be an anti-tank weapon, and only later improved models such as the M4A3 had this capability. Although it had comparable protection to the Tiger tank, its firepower still struggled to compete, and the better M1A2 gun was only installed after the war. The M4 series also had strong points, with the fastest rotating turret in World War II and a rare gun stabilization system at the time. These two features provided a certain advantage in combat. M10 Wolverine Tank Destroyer Although the M10 Wolverine Tank Destroyer was specifically designed for anti-tank missions, it was not quite up to par. The early installation of the M776.2 mm anti-tank gun did not have the capability to confront the Tiger tank, and the manual turret rotation was too slow, taking a full two minutes to make a complete turn. Fortunately, it later received the 17-pound gun, with a few M10s being equipped with it, giving it the ability to threaten the Tiger tank at long distances, although there were no other significant changes. M26 Heavy Tank The M26 was the culmination of American tanks during World War II and made a qualitative leap in both design concept and technical performance. It not only could compete with the Tiger tank, but even surpassed it in frontal protection and other aspects. However, it appeared too late and did not have much opportunity to demonstrate its capabilities. In addition to the above-mentioned tanks, there were many others capable of destroying the Tiger tank, such as the British Archer Tank Destroyer, and many other tanks also had the ability to destroy the Tiger tank from the side or rear in the right tactical situations. There was also the IS-3 Heavy Tank, among other models that did not even make it to the tail end of the war. The Tiger tank was not the strongest tank of World War II, but it was certainly considered the benchmark. When designing their main battle tanks, countries regarded the Tiger tank as the ultimate goal to surpass, making it the king of tank history. As a king, it naturally faced the most challenges.